Hello everybody and welcome to another pomade review. The pomade that we're going to be looking at today is Cold Duck from Mr. March's Pomade. Now this pomade is a heavy holding pomade that is micro wax based. And based on the performance of it, it is very orthodox to what we might assume to see from a micro wax based pomade. So let's get into it. So as you can see, it is a blue color, very bright blue, a very nice color. And the scent is, uh, you can choose uh, peppermint or spearmint. So this one is spearmint. So anyway, um, uh, it smells really nice. It's very light, uh, very, very clean, very refreshing, and smells a lot like just chewing gum. Um, but very not overpowering at all. I mean, you, you hardly really smell it on yourself, which is good sometimes because you don't really always want that really powerful smelling pomade. So let me show you how it scoops. A little bit of force in there, but nothing crazy. Um, the scooping out with micro wax based pomades, the scooping out isn't really what's um, the issue. It's always rubbing them in your hands. But this one rubs together uh, quite sticky. So. It does uh, because it is that that micro wax does get a tad bit clumpy, but that's what we expect because it's not it doesn't have any petroleum in it. So very orthodox to what we'd assume to see from a micro wax based pomade. So one thing that I did notice when you scoop this stuff out, if you get a bigger scoop than than average, it kind of it clumps up quite a bit. Um, but it's nothing to worry about because you just have to add a little bit more pressure and a little bit more heat to it. So goes in the hair, relatively heavy, um, bit of tug and pull, but nothing that we wouldn't um, that we wouldn't normally see in a heavy pomade. So um, just basic tugging with the heaviness of it. And I'll get one of my, my last scoop in here. So I have a one day build up in, and the build up is very, there's a lot of build up. Like many micro wax based pomades, there's a ton of build up. There's a ton left in my hair, so I didn't really have to add a whole bunch. So, all right. So now let's get this look in the back. It's got a pretty nice shine considering it is a heavy, uh, a little more than average, but it is quite heavy. And I have to say the performance and the overall impression that it gave me is very, very similar to Voodoo Brew number one. Voodoo Brew number one very acts a lot in the same way, but I have to say I prefer this one over Voodoo Brew number one because it has a better scent because I'm not too crazy about that coconut in Voodoo Brew number one. So as you can see styles very nice gives great hold just everything pushes down very very nicely everything sticks together quite well but you see that shine it, it dulls down just a little bit but it's a little more than your the natural shine that your hair would have just normally so it's pretty good just um, a little more than average all right and then you can get some crazy good height with it because of that heaviness to it so quite good gives me good shape which for a heavy is quite unique because heavy is too often follow the pattern of your comb extremely um, ex uh, like follow it uh, exactly and precisely so you don't get a lot of natural shape to it but this stuff gives you a good amount of natural shape to it so quite good alright well that is looking about done alright so final verdicts on Cold Duck from Mr. March's Pomade. The scent, really light, uh, not crazy, uh, really light scent, and it um, slicks the sides down quite well, very, very well. Build up on it, 
a ton of build up. If you like build up, you'll like this. You know, hardly any of it washed out. So it is very, it is, it is great in the build up department. Um, gives you pretty good shape and um, has a decent shine to it. So I have to say, if you're if you're into heavies and you're into build up and like having that real denseness to your hair, I'd say you better give Cold Duck a try.